Hey YouTube, what is up to market reviews here? Awesome Zach and Six with a quick collection of my autos and a bobbleheads as you can see. We got some headphones. Um the first off Fred Couples a bobblehead. Uh, I got this one actually at a, a golf event. Um it is autographed. I have another one if you are interested in. But uh, please note that they, the autographed ones do sell for around $90 to $120. Got a Raul Albanez, King Felix, um, Brent Morrow, Griffey, Felix with Cy Young, and Unieski Betancourt bobbleheads. Um, as you can see, there's a bunch of like uh, boxes of the um, ones. Uh, I would say that I have a duplicate of everyone here. Uh, at least one duplicate, maybe two or three, but this video is mainly for my autographs. So, uh, yeah, might as well just get into it right now. Um, first off, I want to show you guys, uh, hopefully lighting isn't that bad. Um, I went to a, Yan um, a Mariners versus Yankee game out here in Seattle, and during the first inning, uh, Derek Jeter hit a ball, a foul ball, and the, um, it, it trickled foul and the ball girl, um, we were sitting in row four, so I, I was the only person who stood up and uh, asked for the ball, and I actually got it from, you can see some bat markings, it was a Derek Jeter one, so it meant a lot to me since being my favorite player and my favorite team, the Yankees, um, so yeah, that's actually a really cool piece to have, uh, in my opinion, then we got some balls here, all of these are for trade. Um, this one is, uh, let's see, it's Mike Gosling. Uh, all of these are in person, they're all authentic, uh, don't even ask me. Um, this one was my first foul ball ever. Uh, it was in June of 2006, the Mariners versus the Twins. So that means a lot to me, being my first ever foul ball that I got. Same story, the ball girl, um, we were sitting in row one that time. And the ball girl actually um, gave us the ball. So, I mean, those two are hopefully never going to be for trade. Because those two mean a lot to me. That was my first baseball game that I could remember of. We got some pretty sweet stuff. Um, Edgar Martinez, autographed ball. Um, big Mariners Legends fan. Um, Ken Griffey Jr., auto ball. There's a crack on the case, but not on the ball. So, that's really cool. Um, Griffey's my favorite Mariner ever. Got some a Beats case. Um, this one was actually really cool if you can recognize who it is. Um, I still have the grab bag. So this is a Mariner's Care grab bag. They were, um, for charity. And it was 50 bucks a bag. So my dad was like, uh, screw it, we'll just buy three bags. And, uh, hopefully get someone good. They said that there was one Ichiro ball. In all of those bags, and guess who got it? So there's the little COA or congratulations thing. I got a Ichiro Suzuki autograph ball. Um, and I'm open to offers on that, um, but please know that at the Mariners team store these sell for five hundred dollars. So I, I know that I'm not going to get that for it, but please note that these are um. Ichiro is not a very, very happy signer. Um, he actually lives about, um, I don't know, five miles away from me. And um, he is not a happy person, to be honest with you. Um, here's one, Carlos Quinton, White Sox, well, Padres now, player um, number 20 there. But um, uh, let me know on that. I will be, I'll be interested in training any of these. Here's like a little... Um, thing that I got. I didn't have anyone else to sign him, but Franklin Gutierrez, the all-star. Then, um, I no, have no idea who that is. And then Kevin Kuzminoff right there. So, I mean, that's like a little t-ball glove that I'll be interested in uh, trading away. Um, David Price. The, the, the run right here, there's a little bleed through right here, but it's nothing major. Um, as you can see, 
if you want like up close, if you want to look at any balls, just comment on me. These are authentic, I guarantee it. I mean, I was witnessing their signing, so um, yeah. Here's a uh, pop out by Kenji Jojima, the former Mariners catcher. I got this at a game too, very special to myself. And here is a autograph of. Uh, I know I have a Michael Morris somewhere. I just don't know who it is, where it is, and I can't read this one. Oh, wow, I never knew I had this. So, uh, this is Tony Gwynn Jr. Uh, autographed. Uh, batting practice ball, I believe. So, that's interesting. I never knew I owned a Tony Gwynn autograph, but anyways. And then a Mel Starmeyer autograph, which is cool. Uh, yeah, I used to go to games almost like once a week, so I have a lot of people. Here's the Yankees, uh, Chris Dickerson. On a ball. All of these are in uh, official Major League Baseballs. Um, we got that. And then we got um, Agi Ojeda. Autograph ball. So, there we go. And then we got a... Um, who's that? Richie Sexton. This is my first ball ever. This dude has the Mariners Team Store logo. 130 bucks. The COA thing right there. Um, that's the, probably one of the balls that aren't for trade. But we got a Andy Chavez that has the congratulations sticker right here, too. Um, any Mets fans uh, interested in that, I will be looking to trade that um, for something. Um, then we got a couple balls right here. Uh, this one is Arthur Rhodes. Um, does it, have a, it doesn't have a sticker, but it is authentic, as you can see, Arthur Rhodes been pitching forever and this one's Eric O'Flattery another uh, auction at the Mariners team store which is really cool they always have these cool auctions um, this year I'm hopefully gonna get a lot more I haven't went to a baseball game to be honest with you in such a long time uh, a bubble mailer which is kind of cool but um this one is really cool to Zachary best wishes Bobby Ingram wide receiver for the um, Seattle Seahawks, which is really cool. Um, that one was really cool because I was little and he personalized to me. And it was kind of cool. Um, this guy, I do not know who it is, but he is number three. So that is cool. So I do not know who that is, but I know he played for the F. Oh, I know. That's Eric Patterson. Um, yeah, that hit me. And this one's another Kevin Kuzman off. This is the BP ball I was talking about. So Eric Patterson, um, he was a really cool guy, to be honest with you. So if anyone who's into, like, balls, um, just tell me and I will uh, PM you or whatever. Here's another BP ball um, right here. It is George Sherrill. Really nice. Um, then Jose Lopez, as you can see, 65 bucks. The Mariners store just rips people off. Jose Lopez. Um... But I was really little. Uh, ben Broussard. This one was $55. I know I won't get these prices. Not even a fraction close to it. But, um, hey. And this one is um, Adam Jones. Uh, the ones with the prices on them. They have the uh, COA because they're from the Mariners team store. This is, um, this guy, uh, if anyone's interested in, he had a really good season this year. If anyone could recognize it in blue sharp, uh, blue pen, Michael Morse. So if anyone wants that one, um, please PM me or comment. I really don't care if you comment or PM. As long as you just say something, I will respond to you, most likely. JJ Puts, um... Right there. That one I got at the Mariners Team Store. And get a little of this. Kenji Jojima. Okay, Josh. $200. That's how much we paid for a Kenji Jojima ball. Which is insanely, insanely a ridiculous price. But, hey. <laughs> um, this one is Eric Patterson right here. Triple autograph. Brad Ziegler and Jerry Blevins. So, anyone interested in that? PME, it's a cool triple autograph. Um, 
And then we got some like Jeff Nelson. We got that in a blow up balloon for Older Lake Hospital. So um yeah, that's all the balls that I have. So anyone interested in any of them, please um ow, I hurt. Please PM me. I'm looking to uh, trade, get rid of some of them. Um, so yeah, anyone interested, please PM me. And now I'm just going to spend the next 30 minutes reorganizing them. Peace out, guys.